for me, West Coast hip hop was, uh, it was like, I didn't think that it would break major because it was too underground. I didn't think it was a commercial value in West Coast rap because of the, the, uh, the content. The content wasn't, you know, it wasn't entertaining. Like, you know, and, and, and my, cause my whole thing was, we, we would always rap and we would want to be the experts. I never got the part of rap that where people wanted to relate to the guy that was on the streets because the only thing that he meant to me was you're a fan. You just come in, you look at the experts do it, that's what you do. All that other shit, all that street shit, all that hood shit, I never really understood that because you can see where as where hip hop related to the culture, the culture of hip hop is more of a culture of violence than a music driven culture. And then every, every everybody was represented, like the pimp was represented, you know, the hoe was represented, the gangster was represented, the murderer was represented, the drug dealer was represented, everybody was represented except for guys that wanna rap. All of those guys, me, Kane, Mo, you know, we had to take a back seat. And I don't mind taking a back seat to nobody because I took a back seat at some point to everybody. So I didn't mind that. But I mean, for guys that y you're not even good at doing it. You see what I'm saying? It's like if, if this was related to basketball, like I could be the number one player if I shot Kobe. I know the difference between a killer and a non-killer. When you first seen the guys, you know, Cuban, them, they were just young guys. They were, you know, you could tell they wasn't killers like that. They, you know, and they represented what they did and they deserved the respect for being the first group to do that. But me personally, I never could understand, you know, I, c I couldn't understand that because our thing was just, you go on stage, you rock the crowd, you get the money and you be a star. I, I, can, I, I still to this day can never understand how a kid from the streets could think he a star when the only thing you projecting about your entertainment value is that you're a kid from the streets. That all came as a part of a plan to, to sucker neighborhood people into thinking that the worst part of their neighborhoods are the best thing that ever happened to the neighborhood. That's what we got right now. That's what I'm saying. If you could just prove to everybody that you're tough or your hood or your ghetto or your grimy, and and and, and, uh, and then you can make it, it's way easier than just doing all the practice that I did to get my reputation. I, I can't tell you how many times I done wrote rhymes after rhyme after rhyme. I think about writing rhyme after rhyme after rhyme to put my image together to go in the gym and train and train and train. I've been training for 30 years. Couldn't none of these dudes do that. But if they say that they sold, you know, 14 kilos of cocaine and, and in the process of doing that, you killed five niggas. And in the process of doing that, you know, you had sex with all kinds of girls and you threw away all kinds of money. You know what I mean? They'd be like, oh yeah, well he has a way more exciting lifestyle than Melly Mel because all I do is go in the gym and train and fucking write rhymes all day. 